Good morning. How to complete 2020 Form 940 Fora Tax Employers Annual Federal Unemployment Tax Return Part 4 Line 12 Total Fora Tax Credit Adjustment You will total line 8 Fora Tax Before Adjustment Line 9, if all of your taxable fora wages you pay were excluded from state unemployment tax. Line 10, if some of your taxable fora wages you pay were excluded from state unemployment tax or you pay any state unemployment tax late. And line 11, if credit reduction applies. So we total line 8, 9, 10, 11, and the total is $6. Line 8 is 60 cents, line 9 is $5.40, and the total is $6. Line 10 and 11 is blank. You now, if you fill up line 9, you shouldn't have anything on line 10. And 11 and you'll go to line 12 so line 12 total line 8 9 10 11 and in our test problem it is six dollars and that's the total for a tax after adjustment line 13 for a tax deposited for the year including any overpayment applied for a period if a prior year we didn't make any deposit during the year, so we left line 13 blank. But if you made a deposit during the year, you will add it on to line 13. And if you have overpayment from prior year that you wanted to apply here, you will add it to any deposit you made during the year and add it to line 13. Line 14. And for the deposit, we address that if you collect, we address it in another session, but if um, you paid, now if your full tax is more than $500, you are required to make deposit during the year for that quarter. And for the quarter that is now more than 500, you don't need to make deposits. You just carry on until it's more than 500 and you made a deposit. And so if you have made deposit during the year, you'll add it to line 13. Line 14 is the balance due. So you'll take line 12 minus line 13. If the if line 12 is more than line 13 or if the difference if you take line 12 minus line 13 and you have a negative number that means you pay more than you owe so you'll have a refund that will go on line 15 overpayment but if the line 12 minus line 13 gives gives you a positive number that means line 12 your tax is more than what you deposited so you have a balance due that will go on line 14 so in our case line 12 is six dollars and line 13 is blank so six dollars minus zero is six dollars so that will go on line 14 we owe six dollars on in full tax so for line 13 if your line 13 is more than 500 you need to deposit that tax via EFT using EFTPS system. You electronic deposit the, the amount before you file and mail in your return from 940. If your line 14 is less is $500 or less, you may you can make a deposit or you can pay it with this form 940 
in our case is six dollars so we'll choose to pay it with the form 940 in your case if that's an overpayment because line 13 is more what you deposited is more than line 12 what you owe then you'll have a refund you'll put on line 15 and you check the boss whether you wanted to apply toward the next return next year or whether you want them to send you a refund so you check the boss below line 15 and that will be par 4 and we will let's see if we'll be able to address line uh, par 5 in this session so par 5 is on page 2 of form 940 you remember to put your name on the top of page 2 and to put your identification number as well your business identification number on the top of page 2 so power 5 report your full tax liability by per quarter only if line 12 is more than 500 if not go to power 6 so if um, line 12 is more than 500 you will need to show here on line C seen under power five your full task liability for each quarter of the year 2020. So line C seen report the amount of your full task liability for each quarter. Do not enter the amount you deposited. If you have no liability for a quarter, leave the line blank. And so the uh, under line CC, you have CC, A, CC, B, CC, C, CC, D for each one of the quarters. Quarters 1 is January to March 31st. So if line 12 is more than 500, you will need to show the your tax liabilities here. And they still have to enter the amount you deposited. So in the instructions, line CC, Line C C and enter the amount of footer for so I'm trying to see if they have okay they have an example so to figure your full tax liability for the fourth quarter complete from line 40 to line 12 then copy the amount from line 12 onto line 17 lastly subtract the sum of the line C C and A through C C and B and from 17 enter the result and then they have an example here you pay wages on March 28th and your full task on those wages was $200 you were not required to make a deposit for the first quarter because your accumulated full was less was $500 or less you pay additional wages on June 28th and your full task on those wages was $400 $400 because you accumulated food at now or at that moment, 200 and 400, that's 600, is more than 500, you are required to make a deposit by July 1st. And June, the quarter, April 1st to June 1st, is the second quarter so you have to make deposit by July by July 31st you will enter $200 in line A in, in line season A because your liability for the first quarter is 200 you will also enter 400 on line season B to show two um, your second quarter liability so that's uh, a way it was explained how you will fill up that 
So for each quarter, the amount you owe. So that means the way you are tracking salaries on your spreadsheet. If you are using a spreadsheet, you will, um, for each quarter, you will calculate on uh, for on each one of your uh, staff members how much you owe on full tasks to pretty much show at what point you reach that 500 you exceed that 500 threshold line 17 total liability for the year your total line 16 a b c d and that will go on line 17 Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you for listening to our podcast and thank you for reading our blog. Thank you, you all that subscribe. And thank you for all your comments. I'm Afiavi Odune Lieberman, creators of Liberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of ninasoup.com, our blog. Liberman Consulting LLC podcast. We do have online stores for natural product, ninassoap.com, for custom apparel store, liberlabel.com, for household product, liberoutlets.com, and for digital product, liberdownload.com. Thank you so much for your time.